Good morning from Kurupukari. We got breakfast on the fire there, on the stove there right now. What are you making anyway? Bacon fish? Oh, bacon. Or fish and bread? And we got, we got coffee. Nice. How can life get any better than this? Eh? Kurupukari, we had nothing to let him this morning. We're making breakfast for the journey. Ryan, good morning, sir. You had a good night rest? Lovely. The sun, nowhere to be seen right now. It's about five o'clock in the morning. We're making breakfast for the journey. The pontoon loading up there right now. We did by the crossing, we did by Auntie Michelle snack it here and Auntie Michelle has tour service you want a boat captain you can call her I'm gonna give you her number you want food Auntie Michelle cater as well you can place your order and you can come and you can get breakfast you can get lunch you can get dinner you can stay over here as well you can camp out like us in the yard she also have the cabins on the island if you want to come and you want to stay over there you have bathroom facility here shower hey it's really convenient all right and it's right by the landing here see all those vehicles there um, line up to go in the pontoon they're waiting for the pontoon all right so as soon as you come out of the pontoon the first step you can get wild meat here and stuff all right auntie michelle Restaurant and snack it and catering service. And while you're here, you can get um, digital and GTNT signal, but the data not to the best. Hope you guys are doing okay. It's another beautiful day here in Guyana. Just about five o'clock. I'm waiting for the sunrise. My man Fish Pro making breakfast. Because we're gonna continue the journey from Kurupukari to Letham. We're heading to Rodeo. So, you know, we always celebrate the journey, not the destination. So, hope you guys are having a wonderful day. You're being positive. Join us on yet another adventure from Kurupukari to Letham. Look at the speed of water there, man, in the mighty Eskibo River. You can hear the water making that wonderful noise. All night we were listening to it. Watch out for snakes, you know, and the caiman. Oh, look at this! Isn't this amazing? Listen to the sound of water. Imagine the force. These are the little things that really amaze you in the outdoors. You may have Lakanani, you know, swimming around by these rocks. Lakanani love to live by the rocks. Beautiful, man. Beautiful as can be. Life can't get better than this. Or how can life get any better than this? When you're camping, you're camping, bye. Look at this. Breakfast, 5.30 in the morning. Couldn't get better. Look at that, worry. No going across to let him. Okay, okay. Nice. Nice, nice. 
Yeah. Keep watching the show, man, all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you don't know Good. me, it's your fan already. right? Yeah. That's what I said, no, you, man. <laughs> place getting, place getting busy there, but you look, folks, you know, for catch the boat. A lot of folks, a lot of folks. We packing up. We don't got stacks to the road, you know, fry fish. And we got some plant in there. And we got rice and curry for last night, you know. So, we got stacks to the road, man. Not seeing that sunrise as yet. Now it's 6 o'clock. Hey, but we're hoping for a great day. I mean, the clouds, there's no clouds actually, blue sky. So, um, should have a bright and sunny day today. The vehicle is now loading onto the um, pontoon to go across. We are about to continue the journey from Kropokari here to Letem. We're gonna make a stop in Anai. We're gonna gas up, ice up, food, you know, snacks, and then we're gonna head down to um, Letem. But you never know, you know, we love to enjoy the journey, so we may make some more stops. And look, parrots passing by. And this is our guard. This dog kept guard for us last night. All right, so the journey continues. As I linger around here by Michelle Stan, look, I'm running back to some super fun here, man. Yes, he's a YouTuber. Hi. Yes. Like yes. I like to say hi to my Miami crew. The Miami crew. Anita Waz, Daddy, Kito, Mommy, Daddy, everybody. We're going go. to Hello. let them to have a great time. Big Rodeo. South, here we come. Rodeo. We're going to giddy up. <laughs> nice to meet you, darling. Yeah. Nice have to meet fun. you. Right? Yeah. You, you girls yeah. have fun too, all right? Okay. Because we are already having fun. You know, I just always enjoy the journey. Yes, yeah. yes. So yes. we camped out last night and now we continue the adventure. All right, great. Good to see you, all right? Good to see you too. Thank, Thank you, darling. Yes. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. And look how amazing this tree is. Look, look, look this idea. I have to show you this idea that Michelle have. All right, this is a huge tree. Michelle built her cafe or restaurant right under this tree, man. So amazing. This is such an awesome idea. You know, I love the idea with this tree and you make this cafe underneath. That is a smart idea. Your idea? Yes. Lovely, lovely. Congratulations. We don't, we don't want to like um, take down the trees, you know, the birds and everything. Yeah, like, and this is beautiful. I, I love it. It's a white tree. White. Oh, so you get fruit from it too? Yes. No, this is amazing. I and mean, then when people come, we tell them pick, but just clean up the clean up the mess. Thing. Yes, yes. And that Diana, please clean up your garbage. Let's make awareness. Clean up the garbage. All right. Don't dump it. Dump it in the bin only. So this is Michelle here, the owner for this cafe. Hello. Good morning to you. Good morning. And thank you for hosting us. I mean, I had an enjoyable time here. I want to thank you for that, right? Yeah. Um, please let me know, uh, tell me, tell my viewers, what service you provide here? Well, I do catering for people passing on the road, yes. which is um, I will cook mostly like balanchi chop and roti, well, a variety, yeah. bacon, sausage, Salt fish, bacon, egg, and sausage, fish, curry, and things. Fish, curry, and roti, roti. nice, alu pie, and your coffee, your yeah, tea. Yeah. And you can they can call you and yes, place the call, order. Yes, What's call. your number? That's more important. Six thirty nine fifty seven sixteen. They call me and then I'll prepare the table and everything for them. Six thirty nine. Five seven, five, one, seven one six. One six. Mm -hmm. Call Michelle and also you have something in the river. You have yes, an island. I do have an island there. You have that, cabins. Yes, I do have cabins. All right. So how, how many cabins you have? And I have two cabins, but I have well the whole island could occupy like about fifteen persons. You camp out. Get hammock. Hammocks and camping yeah. and, and the cabins and yes. you have bathroom and toilet, toilet and kitchen. Kitchen there as yeah. well. Lovely. You have a beautiful beach. Yeah, I seen it. Mm -hmm. I I may go there before when I pass back out. Yeah, you could. And we 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 charter a fishing trip from you yesterday, yes. so you provide fishing trip. Yes. And also river tours, like yes. boat yes. tours. Lovely. Any other service you provide? Well, of course you got some yeah. beers yeah, and other yeah, thing yeah. while you're here. And then you have bathroom facility yes, and toilet yes. facility here for pass by us as yes. well. All right. So thank you very much, Michelle. And I am I am very very pleased to stay here. Okay. I approve Michelle Cafe. What do you call the place? Well, it's just a white tea tree snack it. White tea tree snack it. I approve. Mm -hmm. All right, because we had an awesome time here last night. Mm -hmm. And definitely Tuesday when we pass out, mm -hmm. we're gonna camp here again. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Where is it us now? Life can't get better than this. Life can't get better than that, boy. Uh huh. What a cool, boy. 
Nice. <laughs> I say you're walk for look on any the bottom there. You're a mash of fish. All right. So that's the island I'm telling you guys about that Michelle has. Right over there, you have the you know the sandbar and thing and the little beach. You can go and camp out over there. Beautiful island with the cabin, you know backpackers, you know people with hammocks. Uh, yeah, pick it back when you pass. No problem, brother. And Iowa Kramer lodges on the other side. In the distance. The barge went across. You can come back over. And then we're gonna probably go on this trip. Or the next trip. A lot of folks within the man. A lot of people going to um let them. Rojo is big boy. Really big. First time for me and my boy fish bro. The entire team going right now is the first time for us. I've been to let them before but First time for me for rodeo. Alright. Can't resist this water, boy. <laughs> I drink point for dip or you don't bathe in the bathroom. Couldn't resist this water. Trust me. Alright. At least I can say bathe in this. Good boy for at Kurpakari. You can't come to the beach and don't get your foot messed up in the sun. Alright? Nothing nothing fresh and better than a Swim in the cool water by TS people. Here comes our ride. We had a great night's sleep. Camp out, cook. And yeah, please check the first video from Georgetown to Korpukari. Yeah, the journey begins the country mafish, bro. Yeah, the journey begins, bro. Alright. Nice. We powering up for the journey right now. Life can't get better. Life can't get better indeed, boy. We on the boat here, boy. The man fish, bro. Force coming the boat, you know. But you realize he last guy come on the boat. <laughs> Let them is a must. You should visit Let them. And now they're building the road, the trail to Let them. I mean. Making it simpler for minibus and you know cars to come in. Once the road complete, it's gonna be better for the um, two-wheel drive vehicle to come in. To my lovely niece Tia, congratulations, darling, to you and your lovely husband. Sorry I couldn't be there for the wedding, me and Mikey, but at least we're coming for the ninth day. Don't worry. Um, best of luck, health, strength, happiness, peace, love, unity, all the good things, man. You know, congratulations to you both. All right. Long life ahead. Miss Lynch and the girls in Florida right now celebrating with you. Sorry we couldn't make it. All right, we headed to rodeo. We're gonna giddy up. Now look around to a super, super fan, hey, boy. And you tell me you're the same on YouTube all the time. Yeah, all the time. Man, what's your name? Ricardo. Where Ricardo you from? Ricardo Danhart from Georgetown. Georgetown, Guyana. Man, you want to say hello? to Alexander Village. Alexander Village, lovely. You want to say hello to anyone, hey, boys? Big up our group bars too. No problem, buddy. Good to see you, man, right? Yeah, one nice love, one love, buddy, yeah. Love. Life can't get better than this way, boy. Now we got a diver there. Am I dredging the, um, the bottom there? No, there's the, the, the channel. I'm going to keep dredging the channel so that this barge could um, actually drive across here, you know, because the water low. Look, look at the force of water there, man. I can't zoom up to show you guys, but it's, it's really, really beautiful. Let's do the big one there, the big rock nanny. Watch here, we're gonna swim on feel for them. Right? <laughs> yeah. That's magical, buddy. Some things you cannot explain them. You just gotta look at them and enjoy them. The speed of that water, where does that water come from all year round? to come with our force. Where does it come from? It's not raining right now. Where does water coming from? We don't know. We got the next year, definitely. Definitely. You're going to hunt or what? You're going to hunt or what? No problem, buddy. No problem. The atmosphere here is cool, man. Cool. Beautiful, man. This is the checkpoint here where you have to stop and book in like how we stop and book in at um, Mabura Junction. You're gonna stop here at Kurpakari outpost 
and you have to let them know of your presence and where you're heading to in the back down. All right, so that's what we're doing here right now. Boy, and if you want toilet, <laughs> it's in the jungle. This jungle you're talking about, the male one look little reasonable, but look the female one. Mm -hmm. I hope they fix this. They got a partial little checkpoint here. Well, I don't think this works anymore. Let me see what the sign say. I will cram. Welcome to your cram. So this is protected area we are here. You might lucky to see wild hog or deer or some animal on the road. We have construction going on here. They're making a bridge. They're making a lot of bridges all the way to let them, you know. So that's nice. Rather than having the wooden bridges. We have concrete ones now, which would last longer. I will cram on. Hey, morning. Morning. Can I check in, driver? Oh. Pulling the car and carry your license? Yeah. Have a check in with the authority here. This is leaving Iowa Cram out. This is where the protected area ends. From here all the way back to the landing. No hunting, no fishing, no logging. No nothing down here. Oh, look at the sign over here. He said, No fishing, no hunting, no mining. And I guess logging too, no logging. Well, they have sustainable logging. All right, so you can't just come and catch people animal. And I, I'm happy about this that you know you're protecting wildlife, you know, and sustainable uh, forest and you know, and as, especially no mining, so you ain't, you ain't disturbing the land. All right, so this is good. I, I really appreciate what Ivor Kami is doing. Sarama village we are here Dali signs here we love our Rupununi so I have this Sarama lodge at the back here all right so in case you want to stay you can stay over the back there you got a lodge and you have cell phone signal here Digicel Please note, when you come into the back now, make sure you have two networks, both networks, Digicel and GTNT. Some places GTNT works, some places Digicel works. Few places they work together, both of them work together. So you have to have both networks and make sure you have a strong tow rope when you come in the back now too because in case you break down, you could, somebody can tow you. Not sure if this is the Pakaraima mountain range, but maybe, maybe it is. Not sure. Look, all to the right there. I'm gonna give you guys an aerial view of this neighborhood, the Anai neighborhood. It's like Texas by driving to a short town, you know. Now the sign says, welcome to Quatamang. So this is the Quatamang at the top there area. All right. So Woweta is a different village from the four villages that make up the Anai area. Just figure that out. The people here are living a very modest lifestyle. Savannah's by huge land. So. You're gonna buy Uncle 
Golden Rock View. Welcome to Ruporti. See that? This is Ruporti Village now. Good to see you, This is um, this was what village? Ruporti. Ruporti. Yes. Thank you. Nice to meet you all. All right. Good. So. Stop say hello to some rel um, residents there, man. They were very friendly, you know, giving us a little bit direction. Yes, yeah, so you see one of the tower up ahead there. A little bit early. Folks, them, them uh, like these folks, I need to let them to Hawaii. Some of them. See, is here. Takatu Bridge, 130. Let them 130 kilometer more. Sandy Bus Office and the Oasis. Right here, this is the Oasis. Um, I guess this is a restaurant, I think. Get a little food. My uncle calling. There's some way down the line. So Anai is at the back there. On the little hilltop there is Anai. We at the back, so we're going in there. I gotta take my fish for a drive. Now we are about celebrating the journey and not the destination. All right, we do celebrate destinations as well, but we enjoy the journey, we celebrate the journey, we don't only celebrate the destination. Welcome to Anai, right? So we're in Anai village here now. I believe we can turn in from here to go. Up to Anai. I'm not sure, but I'm taking a chance. Speed home here. Yeah, this can take you to Anai, I can see. Yeah, you got a shop here. Yeah, you got a shop here. journey not destination there's a school you got a school in the health center and thing man around here Just like um, Oriello, <laughs> when I've been there, a lot of wheelbarrows there. See, modest homes and modest lifestyle, no humble people. Mikey, you got the little girlfriend there, by Say, so touch a good morning. Mikey, blushing up, by. You have a Cindy bus service here. Nice, nice. They just select the selling cell phone here today, wow. Feel is they just have come on and um, set up a tower here now. Probably had a um, GTNT all the time. Look at Ben Abadi back there. It needs some truly <laughs> on it. And I nursery school. Yeah, so this is the Anai village here, boy, and look at the mountain. Look at this view. You live on this house here, this man with this yellow house. You now look at the view. 
when you wake up man oh wala kin na mountain <laughs> couldn't get better than that I'm gonna call this right up ahead here I like I like the peacefulness man in the Amerindian community you know really nice I love the ones that have the um, creeks run through man Go get a little dip, you know, like Marika Bay and Pakuri, Orialo. You know, beautiful as can be. But this is a little full tour of uh, the Anai village here, man. Next day, we can come back here and we can camp out and cook and thing and, you know, celebrate down here. Department of Education Anai Sub District okay. Anai Police Station So we got a police outpost here as well Boy, Look at the view Oh, At least you guys get to see The Anai neighborhood here Alright we're gonna make our stop. I'm gonna fly the drone, give you an aerial view, and then we're gonna go buy our gas and we other supplies. How can life get better than this or better than that? Look at the view. So beautiful. So, so, so beautiful. Next, I'm going to give you guys the aerial view. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time Clear to see from up here, the world seems small. We can sit together, it's so beautiful. You and me, we meant to be in the great outdoors. You guys enjoy the aerial view of Anai and its surrounding neighborhood. Ruporti and Quatamang and Aranaputa. Hope I get the name right. Made my way back on the Latham Trail and we are heading for the south. 
Northwest Two. Lihat jam. Start one degree Celsius. Let me continue the journey. I got stopped by me by Darmendra man. The little Darmendra. Man, paint up the place look new. I'm different. Look how the tra mode of transportation here for the folks in the back now, right? The amateur place looks a little different, that's why I want to know how what I was looking at. I ain't seen the gas station, but when I find out what happened to the gasoline, we gotta get gas. I can get it. They got a supermarket there, you can get a lot of stuff. New update. So it's not Darmanger had the gas station. It's a little more farther up ahead. But Darmanger had a supermarket and the, um, the restaurant. My apologies to that. It's only one time I came here, no, it was the second time, so I couldn't remember well. But Cecil or Cyril, the guy named down the line, that's what he told me. Alright, so we can get the gas. But Darmanger sell gas here as well. And but you gotta throw it out from a um, bottle into the into the van. But the other place got a pump where you could um, just you know refill like a, a regular gas station. So we're gonna go up ahead there and, and do that, you know. Hey, the journey is getting better and better, man. We just celebrating the journey rather than driving all the way to let them. We just keep enjoying the journey. Now, something to note: peanut butter. Is made locally here in this village. All right, I gotta get a correct pronunciation of this village. But here is where the ladies them come together and they farm the peanut and they make it into peanut butter. I think right over here is the factory. Not sure, but something going on here for Easter. Oh, they have some preparation for Easter. But the factory is somewhere on this one side. Not sure. I gotta um, find it. Leanne had showed me, but uh, like I can't find it. Cleaning up in the neighborhood, there, man. I ran a puta. I ran a puta. Yeah, the sign said that. So, this is I ran a puta village. Oh, guy in a forestry. I ran a puta forest station. It's very factory that makes the um, peanut butter. I guess I don't pass it, but I ran a puta. These folks manufacture um, their own peanut butter. Across here is the gas station where we stopped on my previous trip. Fish Pro went straight, he didn't buy gas. Yes, yes, Kisun. He probably don't know there is a gas station here. Once again, I made a stop here. Last time me and my buddy Leanne stopped here, Leanne Moore, and we got gas right by this gas station here. I got diesel, gasoline. Cooking gas, all supplies him man. Supermarket. You know. Beautiful neighborhood on across the there. You got a little bar, you know, in case you want to drink something cold. Alright. Or eat some wild meat. But look at the scenery, but I just love the mountains, man. Just love the mountains, you know. Beautiful as can be. Beautiful. We continue the journey. Now the road is getting bumpy. As we leave Anai and Aranaputa. You know the view, the view is is something else man. Second to the I just love the view of the Rupanui. Looks 
step we have our ranch down here Instagram man they have this uh, lodge here where you can go on the rock and camp on the Bakarima Bakarima Mountain Inn that's the name you're actually camping on the Bakarima Mountain look there I think um, I can't remember the guy's name but um his Instagram is worst ever tour guide. <laughs> Sebastian, yeah, that's the guy, Sebastian. You know him, Mikey? From YouTube. From YouTube, yeah. Yeah, the guy is Sebastian, yeah. I met him uh, in Letem on my first trip there. You would have seen him in my video. This is how close you can come to the Bakarima Mountain. You gotta read this little sign. Kondo, welcome to Yakarinta. Welcome to Yakarinta. We have mountains ahead there, boy. Alright, so the journey continues. Only problem with this part of the Rupununi and the road. It's terribly bumpy, terribly bad. Miss Lynch, I know you want to come on this trip, y'all, but this is one bumpy ride. You can hear the truck how it vibrates. Got some houses here. Looks like we almost reaching the uh, village I told you guys about. Can't remember the name, but there's a village somewhere up ahead I can't remember if I if I saw these houses here when I passed through here last year not sure or if there are new houses not really sure the houses look new to me so could be a new development welcome to Masara Okay, Masara, not sure whether it's, this is a new village, I guess. Yeah, because look, there's new houses um, constructing, so this is a new housing project they're opening here, Masara. This is the village I remember passing. Not sure if it's a spring they have up there. Toka village. Yeah, this is the village in Toka. See that? So I remember this village, Toka. There are some other ranchers and stuff on the trail. You know I'm showing you these things so when you know when you're heading to Letem, so at least you can look for these landmarks, you know. I remember there are two houses by itself on a long stretch of road so that's also a landmark and then you have the ranchers them you know these folks pull over here maybe a bathroom break or a the 
you're cooking or something, man. They felt like a boy in the pot there, boy. <laughs> yeah, them are roasting something there. Nice, nice. Look at him, mighty back of rainbow up ahead there, boy. Oh, I see something. And if you can pass, that's it. You can't see nothing much. You gotta slow down. Alright. You might have seen it on TV. Hello. Who told you you could pass me? <laughs> Alright, so. I gotta fall back and let that bus go. Because I wouldn't see. See what's going on there? You can't see the drive. Nobody wants to drive behind because of the dust. But you know, it is what it is. We're taking me time doing between 60 to 70 kilometers to the hour. We're going D ray, D ray, slowly, slowly. I had to show you this from a higher altitude. Look how nice it looks. Just wow me. The Rapaluni is beautiful, man. I keep saying that. It is indeed. But that was a few from a higher altitude there. Alright, so you have Hiowa, 26 kilometer. Napi, 31 kilometer. Parishara, 35 km. Kaikombi. Karnambu 44 and Yupukari 72 km. Alright. So it looks like all these folks are on this road, I'm not sure. Celebrate the journey. Exactly what we're doing. We made a stop. So Stretch our legs and it buy fish for wanna check out the creek. That little water thing in the creek there man. Run and shoot. Going all the way. And this one said another motorcycle coming through there. And folks tied the hammock under the tree man. Some folks taking a dip there. Nice. Water, cool it down. Nice water. It's Easter time, you know. Today is Good Friday. Easter Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And the man Ryan flying a kite there right now, boy. This man tried to fly this kite yesterday and today, but he wasn't getting the heavy wind. But now the kite up in the sky there. So this Easter, we celebrating the Easter. I in the Rupununi. And I keep running into fans. Look, I got some fans here all the way from Esikibo. What I go on? What's your name? I'm Marissa. I'm Marissa. Supernam girl? Yes, Supernam. And your husband from Supernam too. Okay, now everybody. What's your name? Andre. Everybody know me as Jap. Boat builder. Oh, the boat builder? Yeah. You got build a boat for me, boy? Time. I got to make a boat to, to go travel in the Esikibo there, man. Better than the year. And you guys with Bokal, right? Yeah. Lovely. So you tell me everything that y'all be watching the show? Yes. Yeah. Appreciate that, man. Thank you all so much. You want to say hello to anybody? Who else is watching the show in the house? My brother. What's your name? Taisha. Alright, big up to y'all, man. Yeah. Hey, pleased to meet you, alright? Good to meet you, too. And thank you, man, for following me. Yeah, Life can't get better than this, right? Yeah, and we're going to rodeo. Yes. Yeah. We're going to have fun. Experience Guyana. Yes. Yeah. Experience and Expo Guyana. Yeah. Now, who remember this? Small days. Where you're flying your kite. And your kite fall along in the tree. Now look Ryan, kite fall in the tree. Him and I got come now and... Make it fall. Is I make it fall along? But don't worry, watch. You got to climb the tree, buddy, watch. When they grow old like me, watch. This is what you do. See? Don't pull it, don't pull it. Come and get the kite. Come, come and take it off, come. Whoa. I can't punch it, Ryan. Bad kite. Big hole for the kite, you know. I or, still play it. Or we had this hole before? It had the hole. You had this hole? So it's not me, it's not I make the hole. 
good, good, good. I look at this guy, this guy, this guy get a whole lot of skills for him, right? <laughs> Still flying there. Hold it. So this man still flying the kite there, right? Hey, y'all remember y'all small by and small girls days when y'all used to fly kite. Once you found Guyana, you're gonna know about kite flying, alright? We just do it Easter Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And even the week after and the week before Easter. <laughs> Can any shower beat this? I guess not. Oh, you have a fish? I right, see small fish, that little white fish, right? Shine ours, yeah. Look more shine ours there. Oh. <laughs> what's up, what's up? Yeah, them fellas camping over the hammock, man. So nice little quick come and cook and take a dip, man. You know, I always got the black water, you know, you can come down here, clear water, rain water, you know. Coming off the mountains or spring, I don't know where this water coming from, but it's spring water, right? Right, it's a spring water, it is very refreshing. All right, now look the amount of vehicle on this convoy here by heading in. Wow. vehicle broke down on the trail man and my friend told me so far I have like seven accidents so drivers please yeah take your time on the trail take your time because you know the road is very slippery these little rocks here the pebbles very slippery driving is not a problem when you hit the brake you can't control the vehicle after that so you know the trail the journey is long what Take your time, buddy. Take your time. Take your time, puppy. Them boss man, well on this road, manos. <laughs> that is what is car's accident. And look, you got about 15 passengers in that bus. God knows who that driver is, but 15 passenger life at stake, bro. Take your time, including yours. I'm appealing to Guyanese drivers and drivers around the world. Y'all yeah, take your time, the man. Please, speed kills, man. Take your time and arrive alive. All right. Time now to continue our journey. All right, see another bus coming. Let me see how much speed here coming down. Now he ain't coming to speed. Seven accidents happened so far. Now see this guy how he slowed down, he reached a bridge. The vehicle before that didn't slow down. Now this guy is not driving so fast either. And look at the weight at the top of the vehicle, you know. Welcome to Let Them. This right here is Latem. Is there another roadblock again? Or are people just stopping? And I see the speed limit at 50 km here, so I slow down. So I don't know where the rodeo is, but we are 
are in lithium. It took us like three and a half hours to get here from Korpokari. Some parts of the road are good, other parts are really bad. Anai area is really bad. But one third into the journey to let them, the road becomes better. Alright, so we're gonna take a little drive through here of the tongue area. Then I'm gonna end this video because this video is basically showing you guys how to get to let him from Georgetown to Kurpokari, Kurpokari to let him. I have more videos to make. Tomorrow is Saturday, is the first day of rodeo, and then Sunday, the second day of rodeo, and final day. Until next year again. So, please watch out for those videos. We're gonna find somewhere to camp and cook, or maybe we could lash. Some food at the restaurant, you know, contact the fish bro. See if you want to eat some Brazilian food. But we definitely celebrated the journey to let him. Now we gotta find where the rodeo is. And more. He was supposed to come in here with us to be our guide, but he did his act of kindness while he was coming in last night. There was an accident, and he took the victims. Nobody died, but he took the injured people to the hospital back to Linden, you know. And that that is an amazing thing he did, you know. At least he has done his act of kindness. All right. Roast house, all right. They got restaurant and they got the Rapaloni Inn that the back behind behind this um, street here to my left. Look, all them vehicles look line up here by them by them to grab supplies. Eh? What restaurant there? Look what going on here, boy. Nice, nice. Yeah, Rapaloni Inn that the back there, man. They have customs um, at the back there, too. shop so you can see a little of China down here and this tongue will come alive a lot of Chinese stores are here the last time we came here what there's a huge container truck body for 80 feet hotel Amazonia's so give me a tour of what going on here we can find a restaurant and we can eat some you can't come to Rapununi and walk with sun. Alright? So we gotta dine down here, then we gonna start cook. Savannah in supermarket. Best choice. So we gotta go all the way up to um, this hotel where we stayed the last time. I forgot the name. And then we gonna right down here to my left. There's a hotel coming up. Republic Bank if you want money. And if a GBTI in the neighbor. Alright. What's the name of this uh, hotel here? Why? This is where we stayed the last time when I came here when by Anthony and I. Takatu. Takatu in down here. Okay. Yeah. So we are here in Letem. I hope you guys enjoy the tour with us coming from Kurpakari all the way to Latham. Hope you had fun. Mikey, you enjoy the journey? Mm -hmm, very exciting. Alright, alright. 
want to thank you for the privilege of your time. Take care of you. Those around you, make sure you look at part one, Georgetown to Kurpakari, and look out for the other videos to come. We're going to be here Saturday, today's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, we're heading back to Georgetown. We're going to get home by maybe Wednesday. Can we love to enjoy the journey. So take care of you, each other. God bless you. Peace out. And I will see you at the rodeo on the next adventure.